after multiple fires across Ector County, commissioners passed a burn ban order. With the heavy or the high heat that we've had recently, obviously it, uh, it becomes a little bit harder. Our grass fires seem to be uh, increasing, but also just the uh, workload on our individuals when they're out there working in this heat. I looked at the uh, KBDI map and Ector County is extremely dry. Most of the dry weather conditions that we've been seeing are all thanks to a very strong um, upper level high pressure system that can just continues to influence our weather in West Texas. There are several factors that they look at. You know, they're looking at the heat index, they're looking at, at how much humidity is in the area, they're looking at uh, how much growth we've had. Uh, so there's several factors that, that determine that. So I wouldn't say it, it's too late. Uh, I think it, it was a good thing that they passed that and it's certainly going to help us out. Now, the good thing is, is that high pressure system is eventually going to be moving up towards north or at least drifting towards north. And that system has been responsible for bringing us record breaking heat and also very dry weather conditions, which have just, you know, unfortunately added to uh, the current drought situation that we're seeing in West Texas and Southeast New Mexico.